All right. Uh, good morning, folks. Uh, thanks, Emily. My name is Murray Stevenson, uh, and I'm here to provide an update about Gaffer. So Gaffer is a node-based application for scene assembly, look development, lighting, rendering, compositing, and task automation. All of these concepts are expressed in a single node graph with scene, image, shader, and task nodes all coexisting together. Gaffer's power comes from its template-based multi-shot workflows. And if you can structure your data, tasks, and schedule to take advantage of it, you can, can help you work in an exceedingly efficient manner. Gaffer brings some unique uh, tools and perspectives to managing multi-shot workflows uh, through its use of contexts and spreadsheets to allow a single node graph to vary on a shot-by-shot -shot basis, such as a core lighting template being used across dozens or even hundreds of shots. Here's a quick reel of some recent projects delivered using Gaffer within the Cinesite group. Let's roll! So Gaffer is free and open source, uh, and we benefit greatly from other open source projects, uh, from the awesome work hosted by the ASWF uh, through to other notable contributions in the community. Uh, Gaffer's intent has always been to not just benefit from, but also showcase and amplify these great open source projects, bringing everyone together into a single user-facing user application uh, while providing an open source example of implementation and use. Gaffer has years of development effort and production use behind it, uh, with its origins dating back to 2007 and heavy production use since 2015. Uh, last year, we were proud to release Gaffer 1.0, and this year, Gaffer on Windows. My own journey with Gaffer began in 2015 when I joined Image Engine as a CG supervisor, and I've been a Gaffer advocate ever since. Uh, over many years, Gaff has grown into a mature and powerful application, uh, instrumental in delivering a large variety of productions, um, even a shoot commercial. Gaff's development has always been production driven. Uh, we had to grow to really to match the complexity of modern day VFX and animation work. We've learned a lot about dealing with scale, just keeping up with the projects, uh, be it sort of assembling digital environments or uh, wrangling complex characters. More recently, Gaff has been used for lighting and look development on some notable and award-winning projects, uh, notably also including Cinesite's portion of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. While free and open source, there's no need to build Gaffy yourself. Uh, builds of each release are available for download on, for Linux and Windows. And here you can see me downloading Gaffer and then speed running the introductory tutorial uh, before referencing in another script containing Animal Logics A Lab, thanks for the DPL, uh, and then merging in my Gaffer bot. So from download to pixels in a couple of minutes. Uh, we aim for Gaffer to be usable out of the box. Uh, we even go so far as to include an open source renderer in the distribution. Uh, in the last year, uh, we've started including cycles, so Blender's path tracer in, in Gaffer. It's really worth emphasizing that the public version of Gaffer you can download and use is really uh, like equivalent to the version used at studios like Image Engine and Cinesite. Uh, Cinesite actually like download and install public releases from GitHub just like anybody else. Of course, both studios have extensive pipeline integrations and plugins and extensions and so on, um, just like you would add for any DCC, but the base application is the same. Looking more broadly at usage, uh, this year's Windows release has been a big driver of adoption. Um, in an effort to learn more about our users, uh, we launched a survey, and here's some of the summary. So, uh, so far we've seen that about 75% of respondents are new users, being studios that have started using Gaffer in the last 12 months. We see about a 50-50 split between Windows and Linux sites. Studios take anywhere from about one to six months to integrate, uh, though the majority are 
uh, up and running within about three. Uh, they find that artists take about a week and a half on average to get up to speed and productive. And there's an interesting mix of use cases from studios using Gaffer for lighting and rendering uh, through to pipeline automation, look development, image IO, and some even using Gaffer for layout and environment work. Plus, there seem to be plenty of Cycles users out there. The combination of Gaffer and Cycles seems to be a compelling one for smaller studios. With a growing user base, we've ended up with multiple channels of communication uh, from the Gaffer dev mailing list uh, through to GitHub discussions and then user-run Discord servers and forums. Uh, it's really fantastic to see the community growing around Gaffer and people supporting and encouraging each other. Our primary channel is the Gaffer dev mailing list uh, where we aim to respond within the next working day to questions. Uh, we have a team distributed across multiple time zones, which kind of helps in that there's a very small window where someone isn't online. The majority of our priorities do come from Cinesight and Image Engine. I mean, they, they, they do pay our bills after all. Um, but we do actively engage with every Gaffer user. This is often win-win as external users are typically early adopters uh, and they provide normally simpler repro cases than what we, what we might see in production. So it kind of helps us track down issues and improve things more quickly. Moving on to development, uh, Gaffer is actively and publicly worked on. Uh, aside from a few team meetings and chat, we work out in the open. There are no internal or private repos. Everything's done in public on GitHub. Uh, we're quite pedantic about compatibility and stability. Uh, every change is tested through CI, and we publish build artifacts for uh, every pull request and every merge. So these are complete Linux and Windows builds, just like a regular release, uh, and people are welcome to download and try the features and comment. We also host a public GitHub board for in progress and upcoming development. We keep uh, three branches in development at a time. We have main for work that will be in the next major release, breaking changes and the like, uh, a maintenance branch for the current major version, which receives fixes and improvements and features, and a maintenance branch for the previous major version, which receives fixes only. We do this to provide extended support for active productions, uh, those that might choose to lock off on a particular major version, uh, while also trying to keep the release cadence up to kind of adopt, you know, encourage early adoption of, of newer versions. Uh, we, on occasion, do backport fixes to even earlier versions, um, but this is quite rare. Uh, we release very regularly. Uh, you can see here the uh, releases over the past year kind of showing the split between kind of the feature cycle and then the maintenance cycle for each major version. Uh, and then the red lines denote each uh, feature and patch release. Uh, I think new users can be quite surprised how quickly we turn a bug fix into a release. Um, we try and release a lot. Taking a look at recent development, uh, aside from the Windows and Cycles updates this year, we recently released Gaffer 1.3. Uh, some notable highlights of the 1.3 release uh, include overhaul of our color management. Um, so we have added a color managed 3D viewer, upgraded to OCO 2.2, uh, and we now, through that, provide the Asus Studio OCO config by default. Uh, we also improved image performance. Uh, we've added new light manipulators, and we also are now adding support for USD Lux Lite and USD Preview Surface authoring within Gaffer. So as mentioned, uh, we've added a new light manipulator. Um, this allows interactive adjustment of light parameters. Uh, this is a work in progress in 1.3, so we started with spotlights and moving on to rec lights and so on. Uh, we found that kind of creative lighting tools are becoming more and more important as we push more into feature animation workflows. And here, this is Gaffer. Uh, creating USD Lux lights and USD preview surface shaders. We can export to USD and then obviously load the equivalent in USD view and so on. Uh, this will come in a future release. Future development, um, on the long-term roadmap, we're looking at advancements to task orchestration, uh, further improvements to our lighting tools and user experience, uh, improvements to USD interoperability, uh, and then additional nodes for procedural geometry manipulation. We continually improve Gaffer, and every month we meet with stakeholders to refocus development priorities. Um, our GitHub project board is the best place to really keep up to date with what we're doing. 
If you're new to Gaffer, I really encourage you to take a look. Uh, and if you tried it in the past, it's well worth another look. We've made a lot of progress over the years. So how to get started? Well, users can find downloads and documentation at gafferhq.org. And developers, the best place to start is the Gaffer repo. Uh, we also provide a Docker build container and pre-compiled dependencies to make it easier to get started. For any follow-up, you can find us at the Gaffer Dev mailing list, uh, or feel free to contact me directly. Thank you.